We're at the Sandia Peak Tramway and I want to share some of the secrets of the tramway. So we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico right now, right in the Sandia Peak Tram. It's the second longest tram in the world. The first one is located in Armenia, but when they built it, it was built as the longest tram in the world. Currently it stands as the longest tram in the United States. We are going to be leaving a base elevation of 6,559 feet. We could travel for 2.7 miles at an average speed of 13.6 miles per hour or 20 feet per second. Take it to our upper terminal at 10,378 feet. It will take us approximately 15 minutes to get to that terminal. So tell me about the plane crash that you had here. So we had a plane crash back in the 1950s. It crashed right below the tram in the Domingo Baca Canyon. It was a normal commercial flight from Albuquerque to Santa Fe and there were no survivors. <laughs> this is where TWA Flight 260 crashed on February 19th, 1955. That little white dot there is the door of the plane. The ride of passage here at the tram when you're working is you get to ride on top of the tram. Uh, open, open air, you get to see all of the views, 360 degree view of coming up the mountain. It's really fun. It's kind of scary, so if you're scared of heights, definitely wouldn't recommend working here, but it's a lot of fun. How are you secured to the top of the tram? So we have to wear a safety harness that goes pretty much all over, and then we have to attach to an anchor point. It's usually comes up to about our shoulders and if we fall we have about a five foot fall until we hang off the side of the tramp. Hopefully someone pulls us up. Strap to the top of that car? Maybe, uh, maybe not. Have there been any fatalities riding this tram? No, we have not had any fatalities, surprisingly, and we've been running for over 60 years. Tell me a little about the Sandia Mountains. So the Sandia Mountains, they're named after the Spanish word Sandia, which means watermelon, because they turn pink at the sunset. The minerals in the rocks here kind of reflect the sunlight at sunset, and they turn to a reddish pinkish hue. The mountains over out down south a little bit, those are the Manzanos, which means apple in Spanish, and it follows that same theme of having a reddish color tint at sunset. You ever had any emergencies out here? Yeah, so if we do have an emergency, we press the emergency stop. We have the cables right here, and the tram rides right on top of them, and it clamps down and stops immediately, and the tram will swing back and forth until it settles down. We have to wait a few minutes for it to settle all the way down before we can ride back down. What's the strangest thing you've ever seen up here? Well. Some pretty cool stuff that I have seen. I've seen a hawk. We have red-tailed hawks that like to sit on the rope that goes down in the middle, and they ride up and down with the trams. Um, we also see black bears and mountain lions climbing up through the forest up here, which is pretty awesome to see. We have some crazy drunk people that come down at the end of the night. It's a great time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right, there will be one final bump as we come fully in the dock. You guys will be let out the doors opposite me when the green light above my head turns off or when the wheels up there stop turning. Since we are on cabin two side, I'm going to need you all to go straight through both gates because we will not be able to board the next tram until you guys are all through both gates. Um, so that being said, please don't stop for pictures. You guys will have plenty of time while you're waiting outside to get on the tram to take pictures. But for right now, we do have to board and go straight back down the mountain. So we're going to need you guys to go straight through the corral. Here comes the bump. There it is. Does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns? If you guys decide to wander off and go hiking, listen for announcements because I believe the wind is supposed to pick up later today and we'll make an announcement if we decide to try to get everyone off the mountain.
and we made it, made it to the top of the mountain. We're heading out now to do a little hiking.